Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Part 1 of the Workbook Lesson 180. God is but love, and therefore so am I. 169. By grace I live, by grace I am released. God is but love, and therefore so am I. There is no cruelty in God and none in me. God is but love and therefore so am I. For the review today with Alan Watson, we are reading paragraph 12 in the introduction for review 5. This is on page 1300 in A Course in Miracles Complete and Annotated Edition. Yet are the words but aids, and to be used except at the beginning and at the end of practice periods, but to recall the mind as needed to its purpose. We place faith in the experience that comes from practice, not the means we use. We wait for the experience and recognize that it is only here conviction lies. We use the words and try and try again to go beyond them to their meaning, which is far beyond their sound. The sound grows dim and disappears as we approach the source of meaning. It is here that we find rest. This is the review from Alan Watson and Robert Perry. Lesson 180, Central Theme, God is but love and therefore so am I. Review of Lesson 169, by, ra by grace I live, by grace I am released, and 170, there is no cruelty in God and none in me. So this is commentary for paragraph 12 of the review introduction. Yesterday we thought again about the means of practice that we are being taught. The frequent repetition of the thoughts for the day. Today's paragraph reminds us that the words are only aids. They're only symbols. Their purpose is simply to recall the mind as needed to its purpose. The purpose is in the experience, the communion with God experienced during the holy instance we spend. We place faith in the experience that comes from practice, not the means we use. What is the mind's purpose to which we are being recalled? It is remembering who we are and sharing that with the world reminding others of their true self shared with us. The repetition of words only brings us back to this memory of a self that is in constant union with its experience. I'm sorry, with its father and itself, his natural extension. The goal of our practice is to experience that state of right-mindedness even if only for a brief moment. We are remembering that what we are is only love because that is all that God is. If that is so, there can be no cruelty in God nor any cruelty in us or others. I mean, not just me, but others. The experience of the self it w is what brings conviction. The words, God is but love and therefore so am I, or by grace I live cannot bring conviction or certainty. The experience of it not only can bring conviction, it does bring conviction. The goal of practice is to go beyond the words to the experience, to their meaning, which is far beyond their sound. How does that happen? I can't tell you. No one can. But I can tell you that it does happen, and I concur with that. It won't happen without practice. Practice does not make it happen, but it prepares the mind. It opens the door. It washes the mind clean with crystal pure thoughts and readies it for the experience that is always there, always waiting. And in that experience, we find our rest. 
Yes, our rest, our freedom, our reprieve, our sanity. Thank you so much for joining with me. I think we're done with this book. I'm moving on to the second book. Maybe I'll read that tomorrow about the authors. Alan Watson is a staff writer and teacher with the Circle of Atonement and is the author or co-author with Robert Perry of several popular books on the course, as well as numerous articles in course magazines and newsletters. He is well known around the world for his helpful daily commentaries, which are on the internet as well as in the book form, which is what I'm reading from the book form. I haven't found them on the internet, but a workbook companion volumes one and two. He's also known internationally as a speaker on the course. His gifted and spirited writing and teaching helps students to unlock the meaning of the course themselves. And then, of course, there's Robert Perry, the editor of the complete and annotated edition of A Course in Miracles. I'll leave that there. If you want to pause the video, you can go ahead and read about him. One of the most respected voices on ACIM. He's traveled extensively speaking throughout the United States. Anyhow, so I'm moving to my second volume tomorrow. But today, Lesson 180, June 29th. God is but love and therefore so am I. Review of 169, By Grace I Live, By Grace I Am Released, and 170, There is no cruelty in God and none in me. Thank you so much for joining with me. I love you. Have a beautiful day, and please join me for the meditation.